Hey folks, Mitno here. Today we are taking a look at cultists and providing you with everything you need to know to be prepared for your first encounter. Quickly before we get into it, I'll provide chapters down below so you may easily reference topics if you'd like to skip around the video. If you find this video informative, please consider subscribing to the channel. Cultists spawn at night between the hours of 23 and 5. Cultists can be found on the map's customs, woods, and shoreline, with more maps likely in the future. On customs, you can find the cultists at the new construction building, commonly known as Fortress. You will find them also roaming the surrounding area in the bushes down by Crack House, and also the train tracks near Old Gas Station. On woods, they can be found in two locations, at the area around Checkpoint and towards the Mark Circle, the second location is the new abandoned village to the north near the church. On shoreline, they can be found between power station and the cottages at an area of rock called Spine. There has been reports of cultists roaming from Spine as far as Scav Island. The cultists will also spawn at the swamp, commonly near the church. The cultists are a shadowy group that lurk in the darkness, waiting for their next victim to stumble upon their path. They often number between 3 and 6 AI and coordinate as a group. The group consists of warriors called Sectant and a priest that is called Zaretz. The priest will typically have a hood and may have higher tier loot. As far as equipment, the cultists run silencers on all of their weapons. They use high penetration ammo that will shred armor level 4 and lower while still doing good damage to a level 5 and 6 armor. One nice thing is cultists do not wear helmets and can be eliminated quickly with a headshot. They do wear a wide variety of chest armor though, sometimes coming in at level 5 chest armor. Cultists often come equipped with a new poison dagger. If you are stabbed with this poison dagger, you will become poisoned by the unknown toxin. The only cure will be to inject an antidote XTG-12. The unknown toxin will do damage over time, and if you do not have an antidote, you must extract immediately and try to heal your way through the damage. If you have to pick what body part to keep alive, focus on the head, thorax, and of course your legs so you can keep walking. You can't run if your legs are busted. Cultists will constantly attempt to ambush you. They are extremely quiet, and I have yet to hear one of their footsteps as they backstab me. They will wait in a nearby bush for you to walk by before attacking you from behind. After stabbing you, they will serpentine and zigzag as they find a new hiding place. It's actually quite hard to hit them while they're zigzagging. Often, they will choose to hide in bushes or even lay prone in tall grass. If you look closely at the bushes, sometimes you can make out their head or the silencer sticking out of the bush. Also, as they lay prone, they might look like a dead body. If you're unsure, put a bullet in their head. If not, they may get up and try to attack you. Let's go over a couple strategies on how to kill them. Before you enter the raid, let's check your shopping list. I would highly recommend spending the money to get at least one antidote from the flea market. No matter the price, it's worth it if you're serious about hunting down cultists and returning with their loot. Only bringing a flashlight is just not going to cut it. You will want some sort of night vision depending on your budget. You can also use thermals if you have the extra income and you can afford it. Grenades will be useful, so definitely grab a couple. I'd also recommend going with a weapon setup that is decent at both long and medium range, or bring two weapons, one for up close, and one designated as your long range weapon. You don't need to spend a lot of money on the best sniper rifle, as long as you have a way to scan for cultists in the distance, it's going to go a long way. A long range scope, my favorite being the Valde, can help you spot enemies and eliminate them. Sniping is highly effective and it appears the AI don't respond well from long range attacks. One downside is even if you have a sniper, you will need to flush out the remaining enemies as they are very good at hiding. I would always recommend having your favorite short to medium range weapon as well. Lastly, there are a few optional injectors that may help you in your cultist adventures. Focusing only on the positives here, the ETG-C will provide plus 6.5 health regeneration. That can help combat the unknown toxic's negative health damage over time, kind of makes up for it. 
whereas the Propotol will provide plus one health regeneration and also a pain relief effect. Lastly, the Mule will increase your weight limit by plus 50%, allowing you to ignore some of the overweight mechanics and sprint while overweight. In regards to positioning, I'd recommend when possible to place a solid wall or rock behind you. This helps protect your back and increases the chance you can spot an enemy before they try to backstab you. Also, having the high ground can be extremely helpful. If there is only one way up to your position, you'll know where the cultists will be coming from if they're trying to hit you in the back. Having the high ground can also make it easier to spot enemies hiding in bushes or proning in the grass. Despite your best efforts, it is often the case that the cultist will see you before you see them. They will start the engagement and the beginning of the fight will be on their terms. If you are ambushed, try to identify where the cultists are coming from and fall back to cover immediately. It might be tempting to chase the cultist that stabbed you, but that can often lead to being pinned down. After you have repositioned to a place of your choosing, try to spot the cultist using your long range scope. Spotting their heads or silencers sticking out can land you some easy kills. If you know their general location but you can't spot them, you can lob grenades into bushes that you think they might be in. This will flush them out and cause them to run to another bush, giving away their location. My basic strategy is to kill a cultist or two, check my surroundings, reposition, scan for heads and silencers, lob nades, kill runners, repeat until all are eliminated. In terms of loot, so far I have found some nice armor, weapons, attachments, high tier ammo, and a lot of various keys. It appears that the loot table is roughly on par with normal raiders, but with an extra chance to play the RNG lottery and land an extra rare key. If you're having trouble fitting all of the loot in your bags, make sure to break the guns down and just take the valuable parts such as silencers and sights and rare attachments. Make use of your insurance returns by ditching your gear and putting theirs on, allowing you to squeeze every bit of income out of your run. As a recap, the main takeaway is to come prepared with proper medication and at least one antidote. Run with night vision and be prepared for both short and long range encounters. Always be prepared to retreat and reposition, nade the bushes to flush them out, and as a reminder, aim for the head. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hitting that like button really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it guys. As always, have fun in Tarkov. Take it easy. Peace.